was cool. That got me a little excited. Star right? Trek. Like, Look at that. Okay, Lego, it comes alive in Fox's Lego Masters, coming back for its fourth season this week, and teams of so-called brick builders, they face off in the competition show. And this season, it features two creators from right here, from L.A., from the Valley. Yeah, joining us live are L.A. Zone, Allison Gale and Melanie Hernandez, both part of the show. They made everything, everything you, you see, see on this table unbelievable. No instruction manual for these, that is for sure. So first, just tell us how do LEGO challenges work and what was it like being part of this show? I mean, being a part of the show is incredible. You have so much brick to work with <laughs> and you're building <laughs> alongside these like amazingly talented builders. It's like, whoa, <laughs> it's like the coolest thing ever. Ah. So how did you guys work as a team? I mean, I would imagine you guys have known each other for some time. Did that help when you have all the pressure of like, we need to build something creative here? Yeah, Mel's definitely like the calm, cool, <laughs> collected one, right? Yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> how we work, we, we tend to keep each other ideas. We feed off of each other's energy. Uh, we're both actually musicians, yeah. so oh. a lot of our builds are very musically inspired as well. Oh yeah, we see a keyboard, we see a guitar, lots of music on the table. So tell us how you guys got into this. So I've always been into Lego since I was like a little girl. Um, I would use the brick to like enhance other toys mm -hmm. and things like that. I also just like sorting and organizing and like doing things by color. It's always been a thing. And then I pulled Mel into it. Right, so <laughs> since we met in the music department in college choir, I used to go to her house a lot for music, but I ended up doing Lego with her because she had so much Lego at home. So it got me really interested and I was inspired and felt like also catching on and doing the Lego as well. How did that conversation go? It's like, hey, we're here for band practice or music practice <laughs> and then the next thing you know, you're like, we're gonna, we're gonna build a, I don't know, an apple or That's a cake. Much a cake. Down. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it started with her, like she would come over and like play her uke and stuff right. and like, it's like ambiance music as I would build and then <laughs> eventually she like got really curious I was like well make stuff with me let's make things yeah. and then like yeah we made this like music building together because it's where we met right. make Aww. guitars and instruments like I know it's crazy. <laughs> can you tell us a little bit about the strategy how do you make something freehand no instruction manual it is hard enough when you have the directions yeah. mm -hmm. well, how do you do this I like to go by like different themes of the month, if that makes sense, like mm -hmm. by holidays. So like I have like a bunch of spooky stuff coming up for Halloween. Sometimes I get hungry, so I'll make <laughs> some food. I love brick separators. And then like me and Mel with the music, I mean, we can't not make music stuff. Absolutely, but, <laughs> it's creativity. But like how do you, do you, do you freehand and see how it goes or do you map out a plan before you start putting together the Legos? Pretty much. It's like in my head yeah. <laughs> and I kind of go like, what do I want to make? And then I think about like the colors of the item. Then I search for the brick in my little layer and kind of let the pieces guide me. So if that makes sense. We see, no, it makes 100% sense. So we see everything here. You have a mix of things. What is uh, the hardest thing you made here that took you the longest? Hmm. Well, I would say long and the hard is a little bit of a separate thing, but I would say one of the harder pieces would be anything with brick separators in it. So that's here in the front. Yeah, the like hands. the little hands and the, the peace sign and stuff like that. There it is. Um, they come in a like, set, but a, not a lot of people build with them, so I wanted to try it out. And what about the longest? What's been like, mm. was painstakingly, like you had to focus and make sure it was absolutely perfect? I would say this building took us a really long time, right, Mel? Yes, the building actually did take us quite some time to do. Uh, there's a lot of intricate pieces in here. So, and this dragon, I believe, took about four hours. Yeah. Wow. I mean, it's deceptively weird because like the bigger things are actually easier and the smaller things tend to have more details and smaller parts. So do you do anything while you're building? Do you watch TV and you're putting together Legos or music, is it all focus on? You know, headphones or something, listen to music? Definitely music. Mel coming over helps. Um, music, 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 music. I like to give her a lot of ideas too when it comes to building. Can you build this? Can you build that? Can we build this together? Can mm -hmm. can I build this with you? And yeah. I I'm always that. calling her for ideas like what do I do now like help me it's like, okay, also <laughs> how handsome is Will Arnett in person oh he's so dreamy his voice his voice he's yeah, got the, the voice. voice oh my gosh and then what do you do with all these do you just enjoy them for a while and then break them all apart do you have them on display what happens to your creations um sometimes we'll like take some builds to like different conventions um I like to keep some and then eventually I'll use the parts for other things and have a little moment and then, it's yeah, destroy. It's a moment decor, for sure. 
So, having them in your room, your living room, your bathroom. I keep most of my Lego food inside <laughs> of my actual it's fridge. Funny. Oh, it's pretty <laughs> funny. Uh, I have like my food in like the drawers in the freezer. This is deceptive. But, yeah. Yes. Like if I saw this, I might grab it and be like, oh, wait a second. Right. Uh, so are you going to give us a spoiler and tell us if you want? We can't tell you anything no, okay. like that. You'll have to watch. What are we going to see Let's on the try. show? Do you build in real time on the show? Yes. Yes, we do. Yes. So we are timed, the time is real, mm. and the pressure is definitely on when we're building on the show because we only have a certain amount of time to make all these gigantic pieces. What is it like for when you get there and you see all the other teams? I was looking at, and it's pretty diverse teams. You have older people, younger. It's kind of a mixed bag of, of teams. What's that like, just seeing the diversity of people who love Legos? Oh, it's so amazing. We got along as a family. Everyone was there to help each other. Even though it's a competition show, everyone was so supportive of each other. And I'm so glad we got to meet everyone in the entire cast. Well, we're waiting for you. You are local. We hope you had a brick up on the competition. And if you want to see Allison and Melanie in their brick building showdown, when Lego Masters returns on Fox this Thursday, September 28th, you can. You can catch episodes on Hulu the following day. Ladies, thank you for being here thank and you. good luck. Thank you, thank so you for much. having us. Yes.